he definitely wants to get Lomachenko and Javante Tate Davis uh, fight in right now, which is another fight that we've all been wanting. I've been trying to preach to anybody who will listen that the, the main the main hindrance is not Tank, it's not Lomachenko, it's Bob Arum, man. Yeah. Bob Arum be milking it, milk, milking his cows, his cash cows. Bitch, I'm a cow, go Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I'm praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Hopefully, uh, it's sprinkling a little bit right now, but you know I like to be outside. You know what I'm talking about? I'll, I'll run inside if it gets too wet, but we, we chilling right now. It just got done raining like it's about to rain again. But, um, yeah, man, I want to talk about some stuff with uh, Bob Arum, man. You know, Bob Arum has just talked about, uh, which is some good, this is some good news for boxing fans, man. Bob Arum is talking about uh, he wants to see... Um, Shakur Stevenson, I mean, sorry, Teofimo Lopez versus Devin Haney. You know, Teofimo Lopez has a fight coming up against Steve Claggett. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? You know damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? You know, talking about a little tuna fight, you know, but I think Steve Claggett might have a little bit more than uh, we anticipate. You know what I'm saying? He might have a little more than we anticipate, and they might he might put up a good fight, but I fully anticipate Teofimo to win. But what's interesting is that Bob Arum is suddenly interested in um, having unification bouts, right? So he's talking about having Teofimo versus Devin Haney. I think that would be a good match because Devin Haney still is the champion, regardless of what y'all think. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That fight was a no contest. And even if it wasn't a no contest, the fight between him and Ryan Garcia was, um, uh, he didn't lose his belt. He still retained his belt because Ryan Garcia missed weight. So that was the only consequence of him missing weight was that he disqualified himself from competing for the belt. So uh, Devin Haney is still the champion and he's interested in having a, a, a unification with him and Teofimo, which I think would be a good fight, man. I think Teofimo wins, but uh, it'll be a good fight nonetheless. But more importantly, man, he shifted gears. I thought this was very interesting. So according to Sky Sports, you know, it was reported by Sky Sports, um, Bob Arum wants to see Shakur in a mega fight between Tank Davis yeah. and Guess what? The more interesting one, Lomachenko. Hmm. Come on now. So you think it's a coincidence that Lom that that that, that Bob Arum is all is suddenly coming out saying that he wants Shakur versus Lomachenko? Of course, we all want to see these fights, you know. It's, but what, 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 what the funny part is, though, is that um, you know, Shakur is on a contract. The, the end of his contract. So his next fight against Artem Hunter Union in July, which is upcoming, that, that that's the end of his contract. So Bob Arum really wants Shakur to re-up. So he's dangling and teasing and hanging this this gosh dang uh, 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 Lomachenko fight in, uh, in front of him like like a carrot, you know, like low hanging fruit. He's just dangling in front of him and trying to tease him. And I think that's very corny. So I, I hope that uh, Shakur Stevens has some good people around him that to tell him that man and advise him, hey man, don't fall for this, bro. Because if you if you were supposed to fight uh, Lomachenko, it would have happened a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So. It's not a coincidence that you know the general consensus around boxing is that Lomachenko is um is on the decline, right? I disagree with that. I think Lomachenko is still a good fighter. He just put on a great performance against George Cambosas, um, where he knocked him out and stopped him in the or you know, he stopped him in the eleventh round. And you know what I'm saying? Yes, he's getting older, of course, but um I don't I think people exaggerate how much he's on the decline. You know, I think he's slowing down slightly, but I think he has a few good strong performances in him. But with that being said, more importantly, look what Bob, what Bob Aram's doing. He definitely wants to get Lomachenko and Javante Tate Davis uh, fight in right now, which we, another fight that we've all been wanting I've been trying to preach to anybody who will listen that the, the main the main hindrance is not Tank it's not Lomachenko it's Bob Arum man yeah Bob Arum be milking it milk, milking his cows his cash cow bitch I'm a cow bitch I'm a cow which is what, what, what promoters do but he was definitely getting the most out of Lomachenko and now he also feels like Lomachenko's at the tail end of his career especially with his age and he trying to uh, he trying he, he, go, he will offer uh, Lomachenko to, to, to Tank Davis as tribute I'm on! tribute. <laughs> he gonna offer him up and sacrifice him as tribute, you know what I'm saying, like the Hunger, Hunger Games. And then if you think about this, even if Lomachenko does pull up, pull out a miraculous victory, which I think is gonna be a great fight between Lomachenko and Tank, even if he does find a way to pull out the, vi the victory with a vintage Matrix mode uh, Lomachenko showing, guess what? It's still it's, it's still a dub for Bob Aaron because now he can have Shakur fight Lomachenko. But he, guess what? Even if Lomachenko loses a Tank, he can still fight have Lomachenko fight Shakur because I'd still be interested in the fight. I think a lot of people still be interested in the fight. And then now he doesn't have to worry about Lomachenko losing too much value because in his mind, he's, 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 he's almost out the door anyway. 
You know what I'm talking about? So I think people should realize this. Hopefully Shakur realizes this, is that Shakur's been calling out Lomachenko for the longest. And if Bob Aram really wanted Lomachenko versus Shakur, he would have been done it. He would have been done it because they're both on top right. Nothing to stop it. So people like to blame Javante Tank Davis and, and PBC and Al Heyman, whoever the hell, uh, you know, say Floyd Mayweather, whatever, for, for, for the Tank and Lomachenko fight not happening. No, it's been Bob Arum. It's always been Bob Arum and it's still Bob Arum. So you know what I'm saying? So now he wants to say, say, oh, I want Shakur. I got two big fights for Shakur. All he's doing is trying to entice Shakur and convince Shakur, and, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to stay and seduce Shakur to stay with, with, with top rank. And I'm, I, you know, I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing. You know, if the terms are good, then, then he should do it. Everybody should look look out for the best, what's best for their career and best for their stardom. But I, I would say that, you know, promoters, they're, they're good at making things sound good. And I just want him to come to the realization. Hopefully he comes to the realization that he has a good team around him that'll help him realize that. If Bob Barron really, really wanted the best for you, Shakur, he would have had you fight Lomachenko a long time ago. That doesn't mean you'll win. <laughs> that doesn't mean he'll win. You know, I think it's a good fight. I, I would lean towards Shakur, but he didn't even give him the opportunity. He does not give that man the opportunity at all, and and and, and I don't think that'll change. And all this stuff is just smoke and mirrors. It's just he, he's just doing it now because Lomachenko's on the tail end of his career, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about that. I just want to drop that information right there. Don't get fooled by the smoke and mirrors. Bob Aram is not looking out for Shakur. I don't think he ever would look out for Shakur. But um, and and, and yeah, he just he's just pretending now because it's convenient. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, y'all be easy. But before we say that, before we end, I also want to say that and emphasize. I still think Lomachenko versus Tank is a good fight. I think people are underestimating Tank. Sorry, I think people are underestimating Lomachenko. So when Tank wins, they can say, oh yeah, Lomachenko is on the decline and they should have fought earlier. Bullshit! Bullshit! But if Loma, but if Lomachenko wins, which I think he does have a good chance, then they'll say, "Oh yeah, man, Lomachenko was a beast." So it's really they're trying to set up a situation to where it's a lose lose for Tank and it's a win win for Lomachenko. Yeah, which I think they're two great fighters um, fighting, and I think the best man will win. I, I I do lean towards Tank, and then if Shakur fights Lomachenko, I also lean towards Shakur as well. But I think it'll be great fight, great fights. You know what I'm saying? Because Lomachenko's a beast, Shakur's a beast, and Tank is a beast. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, man. I don't think it's a good idea for uh for first quarter to sign back with top rank, but y'all let me know. Maybe I'm tripping. I think the best the best the best idea for him, the best team that he should sign with, um, is probably Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn in Matchroom, man. When you start hearing people like that say things like that, that gives me a fucking hard on. What do you get? But y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. I appreciate y'all with me as always. Y'all be easy. Remember with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.